welcome to another vlog with me where I walk you through my step studying and whatnot. So this is what I'm doing right now. I am still on my first aid grind and I am watching Sketchy Farm now. I wasn't going to use Sketchy Farm. It's exactly like Sketchy Micro except it's for pharmacology. But I started using it because I was having a lot of trouble using my flashcards, memorizing all of these antimicrobials. There's more over here. And I was like, okay, let me just try Sketchy Farm. Because it's notoriously known for being very, very long. But I myself personally feel like I don't know what the heck I was thinking not using Sketchy Farm. Because I absolutely love it. Actually, the adverse effects of all of these drugs, it finally makes me able to remember them. And so I feel like this is definitely going to help me for step because pharmacology is definitely one of my weak points. So today is Monday and last Friday I took a CBSE exam which is basically like a practice step exam and this was my results. As you can see here is like borderline performance kind of like what I have to get if I want to pass and I got a few that were like over here in the passing zone and pretty much everything else was like in the middle or <laughs> Uh, beyond failing like there's arrows saying that I like beyond failed so that's not good but what I am happy about and what gives me some hope is that I have covered biochemistry and nutrition microbiology and immunology and that was all that I knew when I took this test and as you can see I did very well on those so what I'm thinking is as long as I just cover it know it really well I'm going to get progress like if, if these bars were all the way back here I would be worried but I'm not worried because what I have studied is all the way in this nice section and away from this like horrible section so all I have to do is just you know learn all of this stuff and even though that I'm nearing halfway through the book it's kind of funny that I haven't really covered that many topics yet and I still have a lot more to go party tray of vegetables or ultimate step snack you be the judge Hi everyone, so right now it is March 29th and it is 8, almost 9 o'clock at night. I am reviewing pharmacology right now, which is definitely a weak point. And I'm going to be doing sketchy farm for these farm drugs. I'm going to show you, these are the antimicrobials. These are just the antimicrobial drugs that we need to know. There's so many in here. I think there's maybe like 60? Maybe less. It's just crazy how much I know of, of them just because I've been watching some sketchy videos. So I'm definitely going to continue with Sketchy Farm and use that for all of my pharmacology and my farm book. So I'm reviewing farm and then I'm going to start Sketchy Farm for um, these autonomic drugs. But right now I'm actually in cardio. So yeah, I'm, I'm making progress and I'll, be at, and I'll be at 311 by the time that March is over, which is not necessarily halfway, but it's close to halfway. When April starts, I basically have to start doing 14 pages a day. I've been doing 10 pages a day, but I'm going to start doing 14 so that I can finish by April 25th, review for five days, and then my test is May 1st. So let's pray that I can do it. Oh, and let me show you my U-World averages. Okay, so there are a total of 2,481 questions, and I've only used 14% of them. I really, really, really have to start doing more of these. My, I am now in like the 62nd percentile. And do you guys remember? I was all the way over here. But now I'm in the 62nd percent, and I think most of that is because I used to take U-World tests over poem, renal, uh, cardio, even when I hadn't even like reviewed any of that. And I consistently got like 30s and 40 percent. And all I did is was lower my self-esteem. I don't know why people say that it's beneficial. It's definitely not beneficial, at least it wasn't to me. So lately I've been doing practice tests only over the stuff that I've been over. And, and I, uh, I finished cardio, path, farm, biochem, immunology, and microbiology. So lately, these have been my averages. So I kind of started here in the beginning of March with 40s and 50s. And then I was still in the 40s and the 60s. And now um, I've kind of just stayed at least passing. And, and not just passing, but I've been trying to like stay in the 90 and 80 percentile. So you can see it's, it's been a, um, you know, a long road, but I've actually been progressing quite a bit. I think I've been 
focusing too much on my what I don't know page because I'm starting to realize that it's getting really really long and it's really hard to keep reviewing it because it's so long and I, I mean it's really helpful I think it keeps a lot of topics in but I think something that would be more beneficial is maybe review that sometimes but just do tons of questions that way you review your old stuff and that's been helping a lot today is another day with me I just uh, I, work, I had a workout today and then I got ready and put on some clothes because I'm going to school today to learn. I had a very bad study day yesterday. Very bad. So I hope that going to school today will hopefully get me back on track. It's just so, it like hurts me how I let myself down. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully this, um, I'll go to school and be a lot more concentrated and get away from my distracting home full of comfort and food. So I'm gonna make breakfast and then I'm on my way. I really want to do a look with this eyeshadow even if I'm just going to school. <laughs> oh my gosh. All I did was barely tap my brush into the color and I can't, it just blew up on my eye. <laughs> this might totally be an excessive amount of makeup to take to school but whatever let's just go <laughs> nobody's here gotta love studying on a saturday all right book usmly rx diet coke lunch for later we are ready to go i have this app called flora and basically it just doesn't let you use your phone for as long as you want I don't want to use my phone for a long time. Oh, this is the max. So three hours, and you can even put a price so that if you use your phone before the time is over, you pay the app how much you want to put down right now, which I'm not gonna put anything down right now because I'm not rich enough for that. So basically you just press start, and this little tree starts growing. You can't use your phone until the plant is grown, see? So you have to go back or your plant dies. And that's really helpful for someone like me because I really care about plants and I don't want them to die, so yeah, I haven't um, killed a plant yet. So it's been very helpful keeping me away from my phone. Okay, so I've been here forever, but I did all of the work that I wanted to do and more, so I'm happy. Well, if I practiced some farm and did some uh, questions on New World, I'd be even happier, but first I have to eat. Woohoo, guys, I am on a roll. I got an 80 on a 20 question test, and 100, two 100s on two five question tests. And then I took a 12 question test over ethical dilemmas, and I got a 91, yay! I really need to start doing more you world questions. I only did 42 today, and I really wanna do at least 80 to 100 a day. So I just need to slowly build up my stamina. I am now going to bring my laptop to bed and end the night watching some cartoons. Otherwise known as Sketchy Farm. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to another morning. I just got to my little snack. I'm going to school and this will be my little uh, snack on the side. Basically just some carrots, some celery, and some broccoli with some ranch. And bringing in my inner Easter Bunny. Let's go check on what the real Easter Bunny is doing. Hello there! How's the Easter Bunny doing? <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't help but do my makeup again with my palette, so we're going to school with pink eyeshadow again, yeah! It is Easter today and also a Sunday, so guess what? There's literally no one in this entire building. I guess everybody's got other better things to do than me. So, just gonna make myself comfortable here. Bask in the ambience. Went ahead and also picked up a Diet Coke and a Twix. Cause you know, gotta stay motivated. Before I start working on this and watching the sketchy videos over the pharmacology and cardio, I'm just going to start reviewing my antimicrobial flashcards. And of course, I'm gonna take my phone and go to my Flora app. And I'm gonna leave it at three hours. So, I'm just gonna put this away. Wow, this took me forever to get through. There's so many. But farm is one of my weak points. Not that I really have that many strong points. As you can see, farm was definitely one of my weakest points. And definitely respiratory and renal were. 
It's kind of odd that they put those in the same area. And oh my goodness, I sucked at cardio too. But you know, I've been doing some practice questions on you world. And I've been scoring 100, so I think I can get that way up. Hello everybody, welcome to another day of studying with me and this guy. Oh, I just finished like 17 sketchy videos that took me all day and I've been working since 11 and now I'm just reviewing my farm and my antimicrobials and then I'm going to start working on continuing in the book. Calculated it and if I want to finish studying with first aid, I have to start doing like 15 pages in the book a day. I ran into a, a student or a fellow colleague at Walmart and she was basically telling me that everybody she knows is not following their schedule, which makes me feel a little bit better because I haven't followed my schedule at all. And everybody's actually pushing their date for their test back. But I don't want to do that because I heard that's kind of expensive. And even if it wasn't expensive, I just want to get this over with. I don't want to be doing this forever. May 1st is going to be the day I take it. I'm not going to know if ands or buts about it. I kind of have to get on full gear here because I'm kind of falling behind. And it doesn't help that Calyx is all over my first aid book. <sighs> Man, guys, I'm feeling so sad right now. <laughs> Like, no matter how many pages I do in the book, like, I'm always behind, and I always, I never have any time to do my U World questions. I'm falling behind there. And I'm trying to do my farm, and I feel like I'm not learning anything. I just feel like I'm, I can't ever finish my goals every day, even though I try really hard. <sighs> Interesting fact, in case you were wondering why you bloat after you eat and wake up a lot thinner in the morning. Woo Nelly! I'm on page 325. I did like 12 sketchy videos and I've been working since page 304. 21 pages! Not bad. I just need to keep that up for uh, the next month. Gosh, I feel like I've been sitting on my butt all day long. I didn't even exercise today because I really wanted to get this done. I finally, I did something today. I, you know, did a lot. I'm going to do questions tomorrow. I didn't get to do those. But I, I got kind of where I needed to be in the book. So that's good. And uh, right now it is 3.41 in the morning. Uh, I'm really tired. <laughs> awesome news is tomorrow around 4 p.m. I have a meeting with my, with a new research professor who wants to start something with me. So I'll tell you how that goes, but for now, I am going to hit the hay. Okay guys, it's a new day. I did an hour of studying and now it's time to go meet a possible new research mentor and possible new abstract writing in the middle of step studying, which may be a horrible idea, but we shall see. It's palpable as a single module are benign growths that often hypersecrete thyroid hormone. And finally, thyroid cancer is the worst possibility it has to at least be considered when a goiter is found. Right now I am making some flashcards over some information in first aid. These are called the HLA subtypes associated with diseases. And originally I was just going to skip this section and just call it a loss. But you know, when you do that, you're just accepting defeat and that's not what I'm trying to do. So I'm making some flashcards. What makes a good grade different from a great grade is knowing these tiny kind of meaningless details. If you know them, that's what makes you, you know, on top. And I don't want to sell, sell myself short. I kind of want to know everything. Guys, look, I finally found a difference between the 2018 first aid book and the 2017. 2018? <laughs> 2017. This is literally what it's like when I study. Pseudo-hypoparathyroidism are actually problems with the kidney. Oh, yes, yes, yes. To make matters even more confusing, there's a disease called pseudo-pseudo-hypoparathyroidism, which... Oh, yes, yes, yes. Actually, has nothing to do with calcium regulation. It's basically the phenotypic appearance of someone with Albright's hereditary osteodystrophy but with no insensitivity to PTH. <gasps> Nothing. Uh -huh. 
Alrighty, seven minutes to spare, but I am going to hit you with this. Oh yeah. I put so much effort into memorizing the vasculitides, which are basically just diseases of inflammation of your vasculature. I haven't had one question on you world about this, and I've gone like through a lot of cardio questions. I specifically filtered through the cardio questions, and not once have I gotten one vasculitides, vasculitis question. But I bet they're gonna show up on my test, watch. They're gonna show up on my real USMLE exam, so that's why I'm getting ready for it. Morning everybody, it is a new morning with me and today we are going to the gym because I woke up and I didn't want to do anything. So, the least I could do is go to the gym. Here we are at my gym. Basically, I just go on the treadmill and walk uphill for a long time and then I do this app. It's called 8Fit. And no, this is not sponsored. You just do today's workout. And this is all of the things that you do, and it's super easy and super fun. So that's what I've been doing to kind of sort of stay fit during my days. Literally sitting on a chair all day long. Like how I haven't gotten a clot in my legs is beyond me. Scholarship applications be like, give me your whole life story. <laughs> around the body, they can't control for the increased catabolism and water loss, patients with diabetes may actually lose weight. Now, Another day, hitting the books. Where is potassium primarily located in the body? It's primarily an intracellular ion, and it's going to cause total body loss of potassium. The treatment for a somatostatinoma is a somatostatin analog. <laughs> this is the life of a med student, my... Computer doesn't work, my phone doesn't work, and I'm eating pops for dinner. Let's see how I did on this uh, microbiology quiz. <gasps> oh my gosh! <gasps> what? No freaking way. Oh god, yeah. That's a good way to end the night. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs> First thing that I do every morning when I wake up is I open the blind. I basically ask myself every morning, what's going to get you out of bed and doing something productive? I have to do URL questions, I have to do first aid and my flashcards and a little reviewing, so like my book work. And if I don't feel like doing those things, then I'll go to the gym, but I gotta do some of those things. Oh my gosh guys, I'm literally on the verge of crying. <laughs> took a biochem test and then took an immu immunology test. I smell, I haven't <laughs> showered. I haven't changed my clothes in two days. Eat horrible food all the time, because that's like all I have. I'm failing all of my U World quizzes. I'm behind in my studying. I, like, I, I'm so tired. I've been working for six hours straight. I, every time I try to read and try to study, my eyes just cross because I'm so tired. So I'm taking a break. I'm going to eat. I'm going to chill, relax, because I cannot keep going like this, or I'm going to literally cry and burst into tears and have a me mental breakdown. Oh gosh, oh my gosh, I have such a headache right now. I need to relax. I need to relax. <laughs> wow, so this is today's work. 66, 66, 67. 7 o'clock in the morning, and I'm so stressed, like I just... I feel like a failure. <laughs> I, like, I just keep telling myself like, no, you don't go to bed. You need to study. You need to work harder. So, some of the stuff on your world is not in first aid. I mean, all I'm using is, is first aid. So, you know, if it's not in first aid, then I don't know it, basically. You world is very, very hard questions. This is just an alert, a learning advice, just like first aid is. And so just you see it that way. And yeah, my scores were bad today, but guess how much I'm gonna learn from my mistakes. I'm going to fill those gaps and be a stronger student by the end of it. On that note, my camera's dying and so am I. So, I'm going to sleep. Well, my computer has officially stopped working. I have zero idea what's going on with my screen right now. My mouse doesn't work. I don't know what this is. <sighs> Not really my laptop fault, although it always has sucked. I did drop a little bit of water on it and it got into the mouse pad and so yeah it's not very usable right now so that's just gonna stay upside down under the fan and I'm just going to go to school and use those computers 
But right now I'm making soup and I'm cutting watermelon because I am, you know, destined to make this day a good day. I've been so tired. <laughs> Well, I am tired as in sleep deprived, but I'm also tired as in of this. No, not of Calyx, just of life. <laughs> okay, so for today's lunchbox, we have lots of pudding, a Diet Coke, and lots of watermelon. So let's go ahead and get going to school. Let's pray that my laptop will function soon because I really need you, baby. This is not a good time to let go. Welcome everybody to my exciting life. I can do weird stuff like that because it's uh, 3.30 in the morning and ain't nobody here. Okay guys, I am finished here. I am now on page uh, 445. And if you look at my first aid book, you can actually totally see which pages I've done some damage on. Which is basically all of this right here. And I still have that to go. So yeah, moving super fast and just blazing and absolutely ruining my first aid book. Woohoo! Bought this little Logitech mouse for eight bucks at Target. And look at this. My computer is back as ever. And now I can use UWorld. I've been having to use the UWorld phone on my app. I mean, app on my phone. I went to cons. I had never been to a cons, but it said appliances and electronics. And they didn't have a mouse. They sell refrigerators. Now you know. So but then I went to Target, and I'm not really a Target person, but oh my gosh, Target is amazing. So I don't have a flash drive. So you know what? I bought a flash drive. All these years have been without one. I got a new earphones from Sony. And yeah, oh, it's some Gatorade. So I feel like today is gonna be a good day. I'm gonna start the day with exercising and just go from there. All right, guys, I'm about to take a 40 question new world test on hematology, cardiology, infectious disease, immunology, GI, and hematology, and if I, if I didn't say that already. So let's go. All right. <clears throat> hey guys, so just a little update. It is now April 16th, and I am moving on my first aid book. I am now at page 498. I have a cool package because it is pretty much customary that every med student goes berserk after they take their step exam because we worked so hard and so we deserve like the trip of a lifetime. And some people are going to Greece, some people are going to climb Mount Kilimanjaro, and then there's people like me, you know, who maybe not won't do something so drastic, but we'll do something fun nonetheless. And so I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do this summer. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Okay, it's a little book. <gasps> Gasp. And then what is this? Ah! Ah! Oh my god! Ah! Yes, guys, I am going to EDC in Las Vegas, which is like the giant, giant festival, EDM festival. And I cannot wait to go. I'm going with Christian and his friends. And I can't wait to show you guys what I'm gonna do because it is much well deserved. Okay guys, so now I am getting started. I'm ready to start another day of studying. And I just want to tell you guys exactly what I do in case any of you are interested. So I basically start my study sesh writing down what I want to do. Good to start every day with a plan. Now my plans are basically always the same. I do 15 pages of first aid. My pages just so happen to be narrow form. To be studying these, I'm, I'm going to put them in a Quizlet, but I'm also going to be watching Sketchy Form. So I watch Sketchy Farm to learn about what the drug is, to remember what it does, and then I use my Quizlet to keep practicing these drugs over time. After that, I review Cardio Farm. I practice my farm every single day. I practice a new set every single day. So yesterday I did my antimicrobials. Today I'm going to review my Cardio Farm. And this is really important because, you know, practice makes perfect, and this is one of my weakest points, so I make sure to study a new farm set every day. Then I go to my What I Don't Know, document and today I'm reviewing the notes I took from Neuro. I want to also do UWorld questions and I want to especially do them over MSK, Derm, 
and Nero because those are the last modules that I took. I just finished Nero or at least the path and the anatomy aspect of it. I have to do the farm today and I will complete it so I will be ready to do all of you world uh, all of you world's neuro questions but I do feel like this wasn't really a strong module for me it was really hard to learn so I will be doing questions to reinforce my knowledge and see what I don't know of course you gotta have a cup of joe and my cat Pacino mug and I'm all done with my coffee I'm gonna start on my lip got my highlighter and my pen of choice and I just put this right here so I can always remember what I need to do. Why you should never eat and do homework at the same time. Oh my goodness, guys! An awesome, awesome thing has come to my attention. Look, I have reached 50,000 subscribers! I am so uh, happy. <laughs> Don't mind how I look. I've been up studying all day. It is, um, what time is it? It's 5.42 in the morning. And I've been studying with this guy who's nonchalantly eating chips. And yes, I have 50,000 subscribers and I'm so, so happy. I'm so thankful for all of you. And um, I don't know, this is, such a, this is my goal. Like 50,000 was literally my entire goal for YouTube. And I was supposed to reach it by the end of the year, hopefully, and I reached it in April. So um, actually, is it April or is it? It's April. <laughs> I don't know what day it is or what time it is or anything anymore. Guys, I just wanted to vlog this moment. Today is the first time that I can remember since I've been in college, not just medical school, but since I started undergrad, that I've ordered and had delivered my own pizza for myself. I don't think that's ever happened before because I know how bad pizza is for you. All the things that I learned in my nutrition degree, floating away. But I'm really tired of cooking and I'm really tired of eating horrible food. So, pizza time. Oh. So basically what I'm saying, guys, is save yourself. Okay. Today is another day of my life, my sad, sad life, and this is today's goals. We will do the renal chapter, which I have just begun, and I don't know if y'all watched my renal um, vlog before, but I never put more work into a module before, and I ended up still getting a B in the class, so I just don't think I'm that good at the kidney, but maybe this is my second chance. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to do 15 pages in my first aid book per use. 10 pages in the what I don't know document, 4 to 50 U world questions, and gastro farm. This, this is all I have left. Just this little burst to get through these last 100 pages. Um, because then after that, like, I am officially, I have no, nothing more to offer, no more energy to get through another week. Today is Friday, and not next Monday, not this next Monday, but the Monday after that is my exam. So as you can see, it's, you know, it's getting down to the wire. I only have 10 days left to study, and I don't know if you guys remember, but I once had two months. But I'm down to my last 10 days, and I gotta finish my first aid book. And as you can see, this is um, all that's left. Just this little bit. I'm going to finish that hopefully by the 26th, and then I get the 27th, 28th, 29th. 30th to review and um, do a bunch of you world questions and just give it all I got. And I don't know if you guys know this, but Calyx's birthday is on the 28th, so we will be celebrating that. And of course, I will be doing the song with my cool bookmark that I made. I don't know what happened to my other bookmark, but basically, dear future patients, this one's for you. Just know that I do it for you, and I do it a little bit for myself. And if I didn't do it for you, I wouldn't do it at all. So. I'm trying really, really hard to be a really good doctor to someone someday. I hope it's worth it and uh, it's what keeps me going. What the Hello everybody, so today is the 23rd, I just checked, but today is an important day, it is the 23rd, it is a Monday, which means that today is the last CBSC exam. It is basically a practice step exam. Maybe you saw earlier in the video, I scored a 64, I believe, on my uh, second CBSC. I just hope that, I mean, I don't wanna just pass, I want to do really well, so um, 
Hopefully, like today, I will be able to demonstrate a way better performance than getting a 63, which, uh, I mean, I want to get a really high grade, you know, I want to be a surgeon, so far at least, and so it would be nice if I could just score pretty well. I haven't done repro, and I haven't done poem yet. I haven't done those yet, so I don't expect to be very strong on those subjects, but I do expect to be pretty strong on the other subjects. I really need to step it up this week. This is my last week. I take it May 1st. I just really need to just step it up and... Keep going and keep studying. Let's go get ready to take the CBSC. It is 6.51, it's at eight o'clock. So I'm gonna pack some food first because you get to eat food during your exam. So I'm gonna bring a lot of stuff that will keep me awake. Starters, I have a whole bunch of Gatorade. I'm not gonna bring all of them, just maybe two. And I have my favorite snack in the whole wide world, raspberries. I'm going to be soaking in red. We are going to take the test. The test will be going on in that room. So, yes, that's good. Yeah. Uh-oh, I'm getting flashbacks. I haven't been here forever. All right. over now I've heard that nobody walks out of a step exam or an NBME exam or anything and feels good about it and I don't feel good about it <laughs> I mean I feel like I passed I mean I definitely knew a lot more than you know last month or the month before so I am with the caster and somehow continuing to study even though oh my gosh his ear and somehow continuing to study even though I'm extremely exhausted uh, I am looking up what a chorion is because I don't know things like what a chorion is and learning about twinning and drinking Gatorade. What I plan to do is do first aid, UWorld, review my neural farm. Um, farm was so heavily tested. It's really important to know every single little fact about every drug. So I'm doing that and then I'm going to review my what I don't know sheet because that really helped because so much of this exam was minute details that were in my what I don't know sheet. So this is helping immensely. And then I will go to sleep, of course. Studying repro be like, penis and scrotum prostate, penis and scrotum prostate. Why do so many pictures of Olivia Wilde come up when you look up 5-alpha reductase deficiency? Hello everybody, I am here at the School of Justice Actually, it's the School of Medicine, and I am here because I have a meeting today at 9 um, to discuss research, and I don't think that the, the people who are giving me this opportunity to know that my exam is next Tuesday, because I really don't want, <laughs> you know, to let this opportunity pass by and let them think that I'm too busy for this, so I'm here, and I am dressed like I, you know, got my full eight hours and woke up and had coffee this morning when that was not my morning at all. But yeah, so I'm here and I'm going to do research or whatever with them and then the rest of the day will be spent studying and look how beautiful it is today. You know, I've never really appreciate blue skies as much as I have for the past two months of me being captured inside of an apartment for days on end. Hey guys, so I just received word that I will be not getting my CBSC score today or probably tomorrow, which sucks because tomorrow is the last day that I can push back my test unless I want to drop a lot of money. I really don't want to push it back. I kind of wanted to know where I was at least, but I won't know that until it's too late. So I'm just going to go ahead and take it next Tuesday, May 1st. And yeah, just pray that uh, I was, I'm good. <laughs> good to go. I got an 80 on this last 40 question test over everything. So I feel pretty good about that. And as you can see from my progress, since when I first started I was averaging around maybe 50, 60, and um, I've been going up and up, but lately I've just plateaued. It's, uh, I'm not getting any better at this. So when I'm reviewing you world questions, I look for why I had it wrong in my first aid book and then kind of make a note somewhere uh, on the side of my book. I mostly just focus on the ones that I got wrong or the ones that I got right but on accident. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, reviewing you world takes forever. Testosterone is also very 
very important in driving the libido. Can you name two medications that inhibit this process? Um, oh, oh, all right. <laughs> the answers are... Oh my goodness, guys. I just received word from Christian that the CBSC scores are out. I haven't received it yet, but um, I, think, I think it goes in alphabetical order. Oh my goodness, I just got the email. <sighs> Here goes nothing, guys. So according to first aid, to be a surgeon, which is so far what I want to do, um, I need about a 232 to be, I guess, competitive for general surgery. Here was my test from, I think a, about a month ago, and I got a 64, which according to first aid, a 64 is the equivalent of a 185, which is not passing. So I had a lot of work to do, but I'm happy to say that a month later, I was able to get it up to an 85 on my CBSC, which is the equivalent of a 237. And so now, look, look, guys, it's like it's all it's all over here. It's uh, very little is on the other side of the, of the gray zone. So that's really awesome. I'm really happy about that. I am kind of shocked at that. I was able to get so many of my bars to the right side, which is so amazing to me because um, I work so hard, guys. <laughs> like I haven't slept more than six hours the past few days. I've worked so freaking hard for this. So um, it's nice to know that it's paying off. And I know like a 237 isn't like, the world's best score but considering that i failed last month <laughs> i'm really proud of myself so um so yes i have uh let's see thursday friday saturday sunday and monday to go to study for it and i'm not going to move my test because i'm pretty happy with my score uh i think i can be a surgeon now so that's so exciting um can't wait to take it and get my um official score and just realize that this was all for something and I'm just really proud of myself. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm so freaking tired. When that copy hits. Yay, yeah, boy! I literally feel like I spend every single day doing as much as I can. As much as I can with minimal. I don't go on the internet. I don't go on Facebook. I can't go on YouTube. I don't go on. I maybe a little Instagram here and then. And I still don't finish half of the things I want to do every day. I, <laughs> never good enough. Never good enough. <laughs> Woohoo, guys. So I've been camped out over here on my couch. I have reached page 633. So since I'm doing 17 pages a day, when I finish this, I will be done. I will be done with first aid. So this is my last day of first aid reading, which means I have completed all of this. Thoroughly annotated, video watched for every single paragraph, farm card for every single pharmaceutical drug, flashcards for all the cancers. Yep, it's still going. Your girl did all of this. Boom, last day. So let's go ahead and finish it off. Since I've had so much trouble going to sleep lately, what I've been doing is bringing my work into bed right when I'm feeling like I want to go to sleep soon because nothing gets you going to sleep quite like doing the most miserable stuff in the world. I'm going to do all of the ethics questions on you world because I suck at ethics. It was my lowest score as you can see. Alrighty guys. Wish me luck! Woohoo! Hello everybody! So today is Saturday, 5 o'clock in the morning. Uh, I think I have almost regularized my sleeping schedule. I don't know if you guys watched my video when I first started planning out how I was going to study and I said, okay, 8 weeks is a good amount of time because people tell me that any more than that and you're going to crack and you're going to get tired and you won't want to go on. I've been feeling that so bad this past couple of days. I wake up and I'm just like, no, 
no, I don't want to do this anymore. I cannot do this anymore. And so it's, it takes me like three hours to get out of bed now because um, that's how sad I am that this is still my life. I have Sunday, Monday, and then I take my test and then it's over. I'm so nervous about taking an eight hour test. I just feel like I'm gonna see the first question and be like, oh my God, I don't know how to do this and start crying and go to the bathroom and throw up. The best way to feel confident about something is to be prepared. So I am just putting my all into these last few days. I personally like to take it slow. Alrighty guys, it's a party at my place. I'm getting ready and setting things up. So I have his gift, I have his friends, I have cheesecake, I have some plates. Um, and some cups. This is for me. This is a banner for him. And let's go check on the birthday boy, see what he's doing. <laughs> he's still sleeping. We're gonna let him sleep while we set up the party. Yeah, da -da -da. Hello, little sleepy baby. We have a surprise for you. All right, ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. first aid uh, I just need to watch the sketchy videos of her poem and I'm also practicing my radiology which really sucks by using this website so hopefully if y'all want to you know use it and get some practice too you can I'm about to use it so I don't really know how it is yet but it looks helpful so far <laughs> alrighty guys so it is 11 45 a.m. and I have finally finished the last page of first aid this is just a rapid review, and then the rest of this is like the index, and then that's it. So it is done. Look how gross these pages are. Wow, that is gross. My last page included doing some respiratory farm and watching my last sketchy video. So yes, all of this is over with. I'm not just going to put this into a Quizlet. Yeah, that will be the end of that. I am done with this. Woohoo! For my farm cards, I basically just look at what the drug is called and put it put that on the front of the card and then on the back of the card I write down what it is what it does and its adverse effects and I just do this until I have all of the drugs down a big part of me is terrified because my test is in two days and oh my gosh I'm just freaking out so bad because I just feel like I'm gonna see the first question I'm gonna be like oh my gosh I don't know the answer I don't know anything and start crying one time when I was in um, I think fifth grade I cried during a like a state exam and um couldn't finish my exam because i cried under cr pressure and i'm just scared that's gonna happen again i think what i heard is that the exam my exam starts at nine it's about eight or less hours you get an hour break and you can bring food and you get to bring medicine like he like for your headaches you have to get a 192 as of right now to pass Step. Part of me is super scared about taking this exam, but part of me is so ready for that feeling when I submit that last question and I'm ready to go. I cannot wait. I cannot wait to walk out of that stupid test center and be like, yes, it's over. This is over. I'm so ready. Okay guys, so for the rest of my Sunday, um, I'm going to review all of my flashcards one last time. I'm also going to review my notes that I took in here where I kind of drew out some really important principles I thought. And this is a whole bunch of random stuff. But it's really important high yield concepts so I want to go ahead and just review this one last time. Wow, this is a lot longer than I thought it was. I am reviewing my autonomic drugs. And you can see I have quite a lot. I want tomorrow to be kind of like a relaxed day, so I'm doing a lot today. I'm reviewing my 
pharmacology over half of it. And shout out to my baby for being there for me this whole time. He was born into medicine. Where'd you be? be? Decided to take my studying outside because I just get so sleepy. So I'm just gonna continue this out with the greenery and the sun. And hopefully that will wake me up and give me some much needed vitamin D. Wow, this has worked really well. I'm like wide awake now. <laughs> ah, it's amazing what sunshine can do. So I'm gonna give you guys a little gist of what I do. Basically, I just see the card. And I do, I do all of this talking out loud because I feel like that just keeps me awake and engaged. So let's see, what is this? This is a mature cystic teratoma dermoid cyst, which is a type of, I believe, benign ovarian tumor where you get like teeth, hair, and just all three germ layers inside of your ovary. And you're at risk for a torsion of the ovary. And uh, I believe it's in the younger crowd. And I just kind of talk out loud to nobody and then I turn it around and I see how I did. I did forget one thing. There is a monodermal form with thyro tissue called the stroma ovarii. I'm guessing that that is incredibly rare, never happens, but I have to learn about it. So basically, if I get it wrong, I put it in the wrong pile. This is the right pile. And these are the cards I still have to go. And I just keep doing the wrong pile till I get them right. That's how I learn facts that like I can't there's no mnemonics and there's no sketchy for like a lot of the tumors and a lot of the tumor markers that's, that stuff it just has to be flash carded inside your brain okay guys so I am super tired so I am now in bed going to do a few world you world questions as much as I can do and then pass up because I am tired I had a very very long filled study day so I'm just gonna do some you world questions in bed Try to do 40, that's my goal, but who knows. That's my night, and I will see you tomorrow morning. Okay guys, today is the final day. It is the day right before my test tomorrow at nine o'clock in the morning, so I have to make today count. I'm going to stop studying at 6 p.m. because um, I want the rest of the night to be calming and, you know, not nerve-wracking by the time I take the test in the morning. I've written them out per usual on my board. Basically, I'm gonna do as many you girls questions as I can to review all of my Quizlets, skim through Heme and Biostats in the first aid book. And honestly, if I do those things, then I will be happy and I tried my best and that's what I tell myself every day that I just try my best, do as well as I can tomorrow and just let this be over with. And it is about seven o'clock in the morning, so I have about 11 hours to do all of this stuff which is plenty of time to me. Okay guys, you know what, I just can't. <laughs> just can't right now. I can't look at you or I cannot look at nose. I just can't, I'm so freaking tired of this life. <laughs> I think I've reached my breaking point. Day before my test, just <laughs> I get so sleepy just even looking at it. So I'm gonna go get a coffee at Starbucks, treat myself to a big venti coffee. Try this again when I come back. All right guys, hope that this helps. <laughs> So the good news is I actually feel a lot more awake. Thank you, coffee, you come around every time. So I'm going to start working on my UWorld questions by finally doing this. I'm checking all of the boxes and I'm going to do the max allowed per block. And I'm gonna do this as many times as I can until about noon and then I have to start reviewing the sections from first aid. And then after that, I have to review my farm. And at six, I'm calling it a uh, night and I might go to dinner with my sweet. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm getting crazy. I'm so excited now. I just, you know, want this to be over <laughs> so badly. All right, all right. All right, 40 questions down. As you can see, I may have not done the best. A few of these were stupid mistakes. Like, I always mix up what a maxilla and a mandible are. I keep thinking this is a maxilla. Ugh. I always get pH confused. I keep thinking that acidic will raise your pH, but no, it's the other way, it's the other way around. It raises your H concentration. Anyway, it's bad enough that they test you over everything, even these stupid little details you don't know, but it's worse when you miss questions that you know, but you just get a detail wrong or switch it up in your head. Ugh, so confusing. Really quick, just go through why I got some questions wrong. I have to move fast and do another 40 questions. Okay, so I'm done reviewing. I'm just re-watching some pertinent sketchy videos and eating some Fritos, and then I will do another 40 questions. Alrighty, let's try this again. And this time I'm gonna try my absolute hardest not making any more stupid mistakes. Whoa, I just got a question over the sketchy video that I just watched. 
that I probably would not have gotten right if it wasn't for watching that. So yeah, but now I gotta go back to this test because the time is running. Alrighty, so as you can see, I did not feel very good about this test, so let's go ahead and see how I did. Oh yeah, that's not bad. Okay, so that's another 40 questions. So I'm gonna take a break. I'm just really nervous about tomorrow because I have to keep my attention span on for about eight hours. So this is gonna be tough. Okay guys, so I am done reviewing and doing my questions. I did 80 and ugh, it took me a long, long time. These are my final U World stats. Keep in mind that I, I redid um, my 40 bioethics questions. So that probably inflated my score. 81st percentile, I was 76% correct, and I did 54% of the questions. U World stats are kind of, you don't really know how to interpret them because some people do it on time, some people do them random, some people do subject by subject, some people go back and redo the questions that they missed. I don't really put too much thought into my stats on your world. I think that they're pretty good. Uh, not that I'm really sure what they mean for tomorrow. All I know is that I took my CBSC and I think I'm very happy with that grade. So if I were to get that tomorrow, I'd be very happy. U world is really just practice, so just look at it as that. All right, we are back outside with the huge noise and gloomy weather, not to mention our table covered in way too much bird poop. Humble beginnings, everyone. Oh, so I have my vocab. You can see there's, these are all my tabs. I have a repro flashcard. This is respiratory, renal, psych, neuro, MSK, GI, endo, and cardio. <laughs> so many cards. <laughs> okay, guys, so I have reviewed my sections that I need to review in first aid, and I have gone through all of my farm, and let's see, it is 616, so that is it. I am done studying for the day, and I'm going to spend the rest of the day having a much needed relaxation. I'm closing my laptop. My first aid book is done, and it is over. My flashcards, over. For clothes, I'm going with my long sleeve medicine shirt and some black sweats. So I'm super comfortable and warm. And of course you need a jacket, so I'm bringing my super comfortable North Face purple jacket. And by the way, we are done. I'm gonna go ahead and clean my apartment because it's actually pretty gross right now and I would like to come home to a good apartment. I also won't be needing these anymore and they will be going into the pile. These are my spiral notes. And I don't need my flashcards anymore either. I have this pretty unused USMLE step 2018 if anybody wants it. Don't forget to bring your USMLE scheduling permit. Oh my goodness guys, can we just take one last look at this first aid book? It has seen better days. Just look, it's so worn down. Gross. Pretty much every single page is annotated, written on, hated. And then we have these super just ratchet <laughs> tabs that like I, I pull on so that I can find the page and every time I do I rip off the color with it. You can't even tell what these stand for anymore. My stupid little bookmark torn and <laughs> just bent at all the edges. And then like I used the first pages for notes to do like the calculation based questions. Yes, this book was much loved, very used, very appreciated and it got me through the times. It means so much to me, so I'm gonna just keep this forever and just remember all the good times that we had for two months. Alrighty, apartment is clean. Dishes are done, vacuumed, all of that jazz. Now, only thing left to do is to figure out food for tomorrow. So, I really like what I had last time. I'm gonna bring some Gatorades some raspberries, and then for my meal, I'm deciding between a few H-E-B ready cook meals. Something hearty that will keep you, can, cats, I'm filming. Anything hearty and H-E-B has nice little ready cooked meals. Raspberry, and 
my cereal will be some cocoa pebbles and some milk. And I'm going to go to Christian's. I have to bring my own milk because Health Nut Christian doesn't, you know, drink milk or eat cocoa pebbles. So this is all just going to go in a bag. And um, Christian will be taking me to my exam tomorrow so that I just don't have to worry about driving or anything. So yay. Alrighty. Bye apartment. I bid thee farewell and I will see you when all of this is over. Okay, so it is, um, I think, it's 8 o'clock. I am at Kirsten's place, laying down. He's in the living room doing his work. I just really want to say that I appreciate all of the love. So I'm just going to be here relaxing and enjoying my few minutes before the storm hits tomorrow morning. I'm a little nervous knowing that my friends are taking the test too. really helps because, like, we're all mystical. Alrighty, guys. It is, let's see, what time? 7.26. So, time to eat some breakfast and head to the testing center. I'm really not hungry at all. And my heart is beating so crazy. But, um, I have to eat because this is 8 hours, so probably should put something in my stomach. <sighs> Gosh, I'm so nervous. Here in America, so, it's test day. How do you feel? I'm really nervous. There's like a uh, permit pounding in my heart that won't go away and I'm just trying to put some cereal into my stomach but I'm really nervous now because I can't finish it. No, you're gonna do great. Thank you. We're on our way! Whee! Alrighty, we are here and I'm starting to see other people which is making me feel better because I'm not alone in this. Alright honey, I will see you soon, okay? I'm so freaking nervous but oh well. Good luck. Today is my first day of medical school. <laughs> my final exam percentage was 76. I studied so hard for that module. Uh, she's gonna tell you how the test went. Terrible. See you on the other side. Food coma. And then sleep till the end of time. And as I finish an exam, I want to get out of here. The histology slides one last time before I go take my exam. But unfortunately, now we have to take an actual exam. Alright everyone, so this is Christian, America's boyfriend. She is taking her step one exam right now. So she asked me to take over for her today. Start reviewing some stuff in first aid. I'm doing respiratory and eating some cereal, some cocoa pebbles. Basically America brought this over last night and as a little reward for myself, I'm eating some of her cereal. I go through all these videos and write down my notes so that I can remember specific drugs. All right, YouTube, so right now I'm gonna show you how I make my delicious smoothie. All right, guys, so I'm ready for the gym. Basically, wearing, you know, regular soccer jersey, three quarters pants. Hey, guys, so I'm here waiting for America to get out of her exam. It's already 4.40, so she should be getting out in about five minutes. Ordering of medications. All right, guys, there she is. Hello, everybody! America is back behind the camera, apparently. Someone took over. Um, oh my goodness, guys, I could talk about my test all day long, but that was hard. That was really hard. I was really pushing the limits of human ability. And not only that, guys, but looking at little words for eight hours really strains your eyes. Like, it got to the point where my eyes were, where I was getting diplopia in the, in the end of my test. And um, I ended up taking a 10 minute break after every set of 40 questions. And that worked out great for me. And yeah, it was super hard. And I'm so glad that it's over. And I'm never, ever, ever going to look at this stupid stuff again until I get into clinicals. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm officially in home in my apartment now, and I'm going to take a much needed nap and go to sleep. So, good night.